Hello, hello. So here's my EM1 and uh, I had a problem with the one of the knobs uh, while transporting it. I, I knocked one down and unfortunately was the effect delay one that has a quite unique shape and apparently it's quite hard to find as a spare, as a replacement bit. I've been contacting a few different people over internet. I managed to find a guy in Italy who said I had the right one and sent me this one. Even if I told him of gave him all the specifics, he sent me one that looks like all the other potentiometers. And uh, I looked a bit more, but still couldn't find one. Uh, the original one had really like broke like the metal uh, bit holding the the shaft in into place and kind of keeping it like a line and straight uh, cracked so there was no way to fix it I thought of a few different strategies like kind of home repair DIY but couldn't really think of anything that could last so or that could work properly so uh, yesterday I went to my local electric shop and I showed them the bit the piece and they uh, sold me one of these pots that has the same numbering as the original so like a let me see if I can get in focus. Uh, B10K. The shaft is slightly longer. I will see if I can, uh, if he's okay to leave it like that, or if uh, I could perhaps uh, sew it down a little bit with a metal saw. And anyway, they sold me this piece that originally had this uh, pin, this top pin coming out straight, and it had no. Uh, pin at the bottom like the original Korg pot. This is um, the the bottom um, shelving uh, or bottom um, yeah enclosed enclosing metal bit that you can see doesn't even have any anchoring as the original. So what I did, as you can already can tell, I took the new uh, top bit, attached it to the original Korg uh, potentiometer, banded the, the pins towards the lower one, and now I'm gonna go and uh, go ahead and um, sold of them. I already checked inside. There's no dangers of shortcuts because the metal metal brush inside is brushing the top uh, circuit bit. So uh, is there's nothing going on on the lower circuit because uh, as because uh, the brush the metal brush that is inside uh, this new one is only brushing uh, the top. Uh, circle bit and is not brushing uh, the, the bottom one as he was doing the original bit and uh, so there shouldn't be any problem with shortcuts um, it looks really stiff I like the casing uh, is is made of metal the original casing so it was pretty easy to kind of bend this metal uh, lips uh, up upwards and insert the new bit and then bend them back down into shape like they look like they might be made from the same maker because this top this new top bit fits perfectly as you can see maybe the um, uh, the slips fit perfectly around this like metal shape so they they hold it into place perfectly there's no risk of like uh, of it twisting in any way 
like the shaft is really like stable and firm so it should all work out hopefully and I will show you after that and yeah so the potentiometer is into place and uh, as you might have noticed I, I saw off one of the pieces that was sticking out on the shaft so uh, I can fit the original knob of, of the cork uh, unfortunately, um, as the shaft was split, uh, the remaining bit is smaller than the original uh, shape of the shaft. But honestly, I prefer to use some glue to kind of fit the knob now, maybe some hot glue to keep it into place, compared to actually uh, great enough the plastic inside because I feel like uh, I might find the original bit in the future so I prefer to kind of keep this uh, like, ru like ruin this and kind of take bits of this than the original knob because uh, yeah I could also buy a new knob but I feel like uh, I prefer to go this way and Hopefully in the future I will find a proper replacement, but for now this should be enough to, to play with. So the, the knob is not glued yet, but I just had a little check. working.